The Qatari court has dismissed the appeal filed by the Indian government in the case involving eight ex-Indian Navy officials, a decision that adds another layer of complexity to an already sensitive situation. The Indian Air Force is planning to convert the retired MiG-21 fighters into unmanned kamikaze aircraft, and also as unmanned decoys to overwhelm enemy's air defenses, as the airframes of MiG-21 still have seven years of service life left in them. India's PTC Industries and Saffron Aircraft Engines have signed a multi-year contract to produce titanium casting parts for LEAP engines, and the first delivery is scheduled for early 2024. Russia has announced that it has initiated the groundwork for manufacturing the first Su-75 Checkmate stealth fighter jet. The India Pavilion and the Dubai Air Show showcased the twin-engine deck-based fighter, Advanced Light Torpedo, Helena 80 GM, BEL's laser-based anti-drone system and Swati Weapon Locating Radar System. India's Tejas aircraft has taken center stage at the Dubai Air Show 2023, as it vowed the spectators with its agility speed and precision during a series of thrilling aerobatic maneuvers. The Tejas was also on static display, strategically positioned alongside Al Tariq's long-range precision-guided munitions developed by the UAE-based Edge Group. Hal and Edge Group had signed a memorandum of understanding with Edge Group last year to explore the integration of Altaric's family of modular long-range precision munitions. The 150 km range first M1 interceptor missile of long-range surface-to-air missile program has started fabrication phase with more than a dozen missiles in production, and the testing of the first interceptor missile is expected to start by late 2024 or early 2025. The subsequent phases of the LRSAM program will include fabrication of M2 and M3 interceptor missiles with a range of 250 and 350 km respectively. The M1 will be based on the Indo-Israeli MRSAM but with additional booster stage, while the M2 is based on a new design while borrowing some components from the M1, while the M3 will utilize missile structures from the existing ballistic missile defense interceptor. While the US and India have announced plans for the co-production of the Striker armored fighting vehicle, however, experts have said that the Striker deal will face challenges, as the current variants of the Striker might not align with the specific requirements of the Indian Army. The Army is not seeking large-scale procurement due to higher per unit cost, and technical evaluations indicate that Striker might not offer substantial superiority compared to indigenous alternatives already presented by Indian companies like Tata and Mohindra. The Aeronautical Development Establishment has issued a tender for support in the mechanical assembly and associated aeromechanical activities of the Archer NGUAV. The rollout of the Archer NGUAV was planned for mid-2023, however, Due to some delays in the construction process, the schedule has been postponed by approximately four months, and its first test flight is expected by March 2024. India has started the Tri Shakti Prahar joint military exercise near the western border of Rajasthan, involving over 25,000 troops and assets of the three armed services, for live practice of war scenarios, testing of diverse arsenal, and technological testing of UAVs precision guided missiles loitering munitions and counter drone systems. Today's top 3 comments.